Hello and welcome to this tutorial on nesting in Disco. Nesting is the ability to add different versions, mixes and stems of the same track under one main version. So here's the simple example of a main and its instrumental. If we go to the menu for this track and open Manage Nesting. Here we're going to see the track we've opened up and the current versions associated with it, which is actually itself, and that's already marked as the main. So you'll always see the same track appear twice here. Let's go and find the instrumental. There it is, and we can tell Disco what type it is. So it is an instrumental version. If we wanted to remove it, we just hit this X and we can click save. If I click on this little accordion, which shows that there's one nested track now, we can see it. And we no longer need this here, so we can just exit out of this playlist. Let's take a look at editing metadata on nested tracks. So if we open up the metadata on the main track and add some information here in the artist field, you might think it's going to write to the tracks that are nested under it, but that isn't the case. So editing metadata on a main does not edit metadata on nested versions. If we look at the fact that this track's in a playlist and we could say edit all, assuming, well, there are two tracks showing up here, the instrumental and the main, well, we can't edit all either because once they're nested, they don't count as additional tracks within a playlist. So edit all doesn't work. What will work is copying metadata. We can copy the metadata from the main track to any of the nested versions right from the track menu. So that's the easiest way if you've already filled out metadata and already nested tracks that you can copy. Let's just save this playlist though and take a look at the public view. We'll open the share URL. We can play the track as per usual and scrub on the waveform. And here is the accordion that shows there's one nested version. And there it is. I can download that or save it to Disco. From the main, I have a lot of different options relating to it. And there's always the playlist download and save to Disco options. Okay, let's take a look at a more complex version of nesting. This is this main track, Birds, and underneath it we've got an edit, an acapella, a bunch of different stems, an instrumental, and another mix. Before we nest them though, it's easier to bulk edit the metadata on all these tracks at the same time. So they're all sitting in a playlist, and I can say edit all to edit all nine tracks. And here I can say Benny... New album. So I've added metadata to all those tracks before I nest them. Okay, so let's nest all these different versions together. Go to the menu for the main track, open Manage Nesting. I can see the main track there. The only one associated with it so far is itself, and it's the main version. And I can start finding the existing tracks. Okay, so I've found all the existing tracks. There is an option to upload directly into this area. So you click that plus stems and it shows the upload area down here. So I can search my computer or just simply drag on. I've got one more version. It's the synth stems. If it wasn't a stem, that's fine. I can say it was an acapella or some other thing. Notice how it got moved up into this versions area. But it is a stem, so when I mark it stem again, it gets dropped into the stems section. So we'll go through the stems and add them. So stems are being separated out from versions. And versions are all of the other options in this menu. At any point, we can specify what they are. Stems get counted as one track. So there's four versions plus five stems counting as one. Let's just label these quickly. So it's an edit. It's a 30 second edit. That's a cut down. 
a cappella, instrumental, and then a rough mix. There's mix as its own version. For everything else, you've got the other option if it's a background vocal or something like that. All right, this is looking pretty good. If we want to rearrange them, we can just drag and drop. We can remove them if we want with the X or unnest them. Let's save. Now, all of those nested versions are appearing here and they're still sitting down in my playlist. And you can see they've got their little labels on them now. I don't need them to appear here because I can expand this to see them. So let's just remove them from the playlist creative. All right, that's a lot cleaner. There are the main versions, stems, you can expand to see them. Why does it say the number five? One, two, three, four, plus all the stems as one. Let's save this playlist. Let's take a quick look at a setting here. Formats include nested versions. So when I share this, I want those nested versions to appear on that playlist. But stems isn't currently checked. So let's just take a quick look at the public share link and see what happens. Four versions and it's only the different mix versions. There are no stems here. So if I want stems to appear on my playlists, I have to edit the playlist, go to formats, check this box to share stems as well. So it just doesn't share stems by default. Now that it's saved, we can refresh and stems are now available. Of course, we can listen to them all. We can download them individually. That main version has got all the different options. We've got the more formats and options, which is packed with different variations. Save them to disco, download them. Of course, download everything and save everything to disco are your other options there. Now that all of these tracks are nested together, how can we edit all of their metadata in one go? There are nine different tracks here. So if I go into the main one, I start filling out the different metadata fields. Okay, now I want this information on all those tracks though. So the best way to do that is copy, copy track info. So I go to the main track menu, copy track info from this track to which tracks and I can say add all and it's really smart and it just finds them and adds them to this list. Then I can choose what exactly I want to copy across. Maybe I don't want grouping to copy. So you can select those options. You can also expand to see how the metadata will be updated on each of the tracks. Remove them if you don't want to copy to them. But we're good to go. So let's copy that metadata across to those nine tracks. Let's look at searching. What if I search for this track, birds? When you do a search, all of the different versions and stems appear in the search results. They're not all combined under the one main track. So if I want to share just the instrumental and the stem, I can still do that. They're still two independent tracks if I want to share them for that purpose. So I can make that playlist, save it, and it's not going to have the main and all the other versions that were nested together. It's just those particular tracks. Okay, to wrap up, we learned how to nest different versions and mixes and stems under one main version. We learned how to copy track info from the main to the nested tracks. We looked at how nested tracks and stems appear on a public share URL and also how to search and just share one of the nested versions all by itself without being connected back to the main. So that is nesting in Disco. Please write to support or go to the School of Disco to learn more. Cheers.